also a uh, sheep, a drum, and a snake fall off a cliff. Bottom. I don't get that. Okay. <laughs> I just got demonetized right there. Ah, well. Were we ever really monetized? It's not about the monetization, it's about the friends you made along the way. That's right. Hey everybody, what's going on? Thanks for swinging by. I sure do appreciate it. If this is your first time with the channel, my name is Mark. Oh, hi Mark. Welcome to Fit and Fire. Let's get into the video. It's Shotgun Sunday and we're back at it with the All Gens 12 from Rock Island. Now, just a quick disclaimer, extremely windy day, so please forgive all of the background noise if there is any. Try to take care of that in post-production, but it's Kansas, so you get what you get. With that being said, last time we were having some feeding issues. Uh, the lifter was trying to cant some of those shells, so we're gonna take a look at what has changed since then. I ran it with some snap caps and it seemed like it was running okay. But uh, I have some two and three quarter and three inch shells this time. Got some high brass, got some low brass, and we're going to continue getting that round count going up to 300 today. So we will see what happens. I uh, didn't bring my pouch, so I'm using my camera bag. <laughs> it's the pouch today. There's always something I forget. But uh, let's get into it. Start off with a seven and a half shot. See what happens. Ran good that time. There we go. Short stroke. Look. It might be short stroking. That may very well be it. So a uh, sheep, a drum. And a snake fall off a cliff. Bottom. I don't get that. Okay, got some of these uh, one and an eighth ounce buster slugs. See what happens here. Ran these before. These hurt. <laughs> Rest in peace, camera. All right, switching over to the uh, coyote loads. These are three inch, one and a half ounce. Feel like I'm getting a full pump on that, so yeah, it looks like you are. Whew. 
It seems we're getting hung up. Yep. You can see here, it, the shell is kind of flared out a little bit. See that, that little lip right there. Seems to be catching. Yeah. Must be operator error. Yeah, probably. Do it again. All right. Go back to the uh, low brass seven and a half inch or seven and a half shot. You have one more, I think. Yep. Does it slam fire? Yeah, let's find out. That's a good question. Will it blend? You serious idea. Will it blend? Put shotguns in a... Nope. Nope. Whoa. Big flinch. I was like, that, that was a flinch. That was a space station. <laughs> All right. Last box, last 25, three inch, one and fifth ounce, four shot. Oh, I didn't like that at all over here. <laughs> that is a lot more stout. Yeah, man, a lot more stout. Okay. Of course, the last five worked perfectly. Yeah. Flawlessly. Well, there we have it. Still having the same problems, but it's still trucking along. Shouldn't expect too many issues when it comes to a pump shotgun. Uh, luckily, we haven't blown it up. Uh, shot some slugs through it today, and everything seems to be working just fine. Uh, the choke is loosening up a little bit here, but outside of that, everything else seems to be okay besides the feeding issues that we're having. So, 
there you have it. Uh, we got, what, 300 rounds through the All Gens 12. Let me know what you guys think. Sound off in the comment section down below. How much further do you think it will run? Do you have any ideas as to some of the feeding issues? Let me know down in the comments as well. I would greatly appreciate it. Really do appreciate you guys swinging by on this windy, windy day. Thank you so very much. We will catch you next time, as always. Here comes a high five, freedom through strength. Take care, guys. Bye.